we're going to take a look at inserting templates inside of templates. As your website grows, you're going to be reusing the same resources in many different files. Now, let's say for instance you wanted to change a header. Well, you wouldn't want to have to change the header in every single file. If you're using templates, you just have to change your header template and then it will change it in every file that's using that template. So anyway, let's get into it. In our example, we're still, we're still parsing everything inside our templates folder that ends with a .html. So we're parsing all of these files here. And at the root, we're going to be using our index handler. And we're just going to be serving the index.html file. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And this is a very simple example just to show how it works. So here, we just, we're just saying we have our body here and some h1 tags. And we're bringing in two different templates. We're bringing in a header, we're bringing in a footer. So to do this, we, we have our curly braces on the outside. We have template, and then inside the double quote, we have the name of our template. Now these templates had to be defined, and they have to be in a file that was inside the folder that we parsed. So our template header was defined inside of header.html. As you can see, it's right there inside the templates folder. So inside of our, our brackets, we're just using the define keyword, and then Inside double quotes, we're just giving our template a name, and the end of our template is signified by, you know, double quotes or double uh, curly braces, and then end. Um, anyway, same thing for footer. Um, we're defining it. We're giving it our template name, which you can see right here that we're using, and then of course our text, and then we we just use end at the end. But anyway, let's go ahead and run that. All right, header, botter, ugh, body, and footer. So here's the text that we had in index.html, te the text we had in our header uh, template, and the text we had in our footer template that we brought in. So let's go ahead and take a look at, let's take a look at an example that's going to bring in you know, a lot more stuff. So. Okay, so we're going to be using index2.html. As we look at that, we're going to be bringing in a header, we're going to be bringing in a footer, and we're even going to be bringing in a template um, in the middle as well. So let's go over our web page. There we go. So we brought in our header is, is this information up here. This is some text from just our index.index2.html file and then our mid template is bringing in this information and we have our footer. So as you can see, if we pull up header 2, you know, we have all of our we have a lot of our styling, you know, and of course, you know, we're bringing in our navigation bar. Um, same thing with footer 2, we're bringing in another navigation bar. And one thing to, to note of is that in the section mid, we're just bringing in this ID and it's just creating our, with the CSS, it's just creating this little green, uh, not you know, kind of rounded edged rectangle that we have here. If we look at our proverb here from Rob Pike, errors or values, we can see this is actually brought in from another template called message. So if I go over to our message.html, we've defined our template message. So not only are we nesting a template inside a template, we're nesting a template inside of a template inside of a template. Um, anyway, so if you have a bunch, if you have a bunch of things that you're going to reuse, a bunch of resources, this can really be a lifesaver and it's just gonna make your life quite a bit easier. Uh, just remember, it ha all has to be in the same folder which everything's being parsed. 
And you have to make sure that, you know, when you either you're saying templates to bring it in or if you're defining it so it can be brought in, you know, make sure you put it inside of your double quotes. All right. I hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.